What is up everybody? I'm Moritz and I'm a Shopify developer from Germany and I'm on the lookout for the best looking designs which are out there in web shops which already got built and I stumbled across this lovely looking slider section right here where I could easily charge hourly rates of hundreds of dollars but I'm actually gonna use an app for this and I'm gonna show you how it's done. So let's get right into it. The app I'm using for this is called Section Store and many other developers are using it as well because it is a big time and money savior. And just look for the slider too. It's that one right here. And yeah, like I said already, instead of having to pay expensive developer fees over hundreds of dollars, you can get this one for a one-time fee of $9 and still customize the hell out of it. So I think at the end of the day, that's a pretty good deal. Just head back to the My Sections area of the app where you can find a collection of all the sections you're already owning. And let's just look for the slider too real quick. That is the one. Just add it to the theme you're using. In my case, it is the Dawn Live theme, but it does work on every theme, so don't worry about that neither. And then simply just open it up in the theme editor right here. I've already opened up mine. That is the one you can see right here. That's a little demo version I built for myself. And if you want to start completely from scratch, just scroll all the way down. Go to Add Sectioner, type in Slider 2, and that is exactly what you're going to end up with. It's going to give you this nice little default version where you can already get a little feel of how it's going to look like in the end. And here you can pretty much customize everything. How many slides you want to see per view. Let's just go for free in this case. So it's going to have a little bit more space. And yeah, you can customize all the paddings, what ratio the images are going to have, if they're going to have this little shadow or not. And then on the very bottom, you can also customize all the colors, like the arrow colors, for example. I'm just going to pick green, so you can see this is changing to green. And the hover color is something we could change as well. So here we're going to get this lovely looking blue. Let's just save this up for now. And now we want to fill it with content, of course. So it is going to look something like this. You see all those little blocks underneath. And if you click on one, you can simply just chug an image in right here. Let's just go for this more tacky looking image right here as you can see and instead of new slide we're gonna name it smartwatch learn more and then for example we could chug in a collection or even a product the way you use it is up to you you have all the options in the world and i just want to chug in the collection right here let's just do backpacks of course it's a fictional web page so it's not going to be close to reality but you get the idea just when i give you a little feel for it let's view it in the live version and then also have a look at the one i've already built so you can see how it's operating and if we scroll all the way down we can see that one here of course those ones didn't get filled with content yet but if i click on that one you can see that little hover right here and if i click on learn more it's going to directly send us to the collection we already built and yeah, that was pretty much it. Like I said already, there are a lot of customization options. And of course, if it is filled with content and nice images, it will look even better. And here you can see you can do some more customizations as well, like rounding the corners, giving it a little border, and yeah, changing the, the background drop and everything. But yeah, that was pretty much it. Hope you guys found it useful. If you did, always feel free to leave a like and a follow. And with that being said, have a good one and peace out.